Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create this detailed face rig. So as you can see here, I've made this face rig using the plugin joysticks and sliders. So if you want to follow along to this tutorial, then you need to buy that, of course. You can find the link down in the description below. And you can also find a link there to download the project files for this video. So you can uh, open my project up and see how I did this. Um, so uh, in here you can see I have this face and I have these, uh, let's pause it here. I have these four uh, joysticks and one slider. And uh, these joysticks, this is the movement of the head, the movement of the mouth, the placement and movement, uh, the eyes and the eyebrows. And uh, a slider is for blinking. So uh, I have this uh, clean slate here with all of my layers in it. And I'll, I'll go back to uh, Illustrator to show you that what I have made here. Uh, we have this um, uh, different kind of poses for him. Let's see here, we have the sad face, and it is, this is only for me for reference for in After Effects. So the, are, the eyebrows are a bit like this, and the mouth is a bit, is a bit smaller. Um, uh, so this is a sad face, uh, kind of a curious face with a raised eyebrow, uh, the normal happy state, the angry state, and the worried face. Um, and of course, also the placement of the face and the head and where he is looking, like up or down or to the side, uh, also... Um, adds to the emotion of the face. So here in Illustrator, we only see the eyebrows and the mouth uh, different, just for a reference for me to recreate them. So I imported all of these layers separate uh, by using the Overlord plugin. Uh, you can also, of course, save this as an Illustrator file and then uh, open it in After Effects in different layers. I have this neck here, his shadow. I have this front face and his, uh, yeah, his bottom face and his upper face. We have this uh, front hair piece and uh, this back hair piece here. So this is this normal shape and um, we have the eye and uh, ear and the ear stripe in it we have this glasses and then we have the, uh, the rest of the face elements and these uh, two dots are uh, blush on his uh, face so i've imported all of them and to start off with that blush effect um, i added a fast box blur to it so let's zoom in here so it's a bit more blurry like that and then also added the noise alpha effect put it on 18 percent uh, just to make it give it a bit of more texture and um Let's see here. Uh, let's just close these all up. Uh, we have our background so, and all, all of these, uh, which is locked, and all of these elements. And we're going to parent everything correctly first. So first off, I'm going to parent the bottom uh, face to our neck. And the neck shadow to our bottom face, I think. Yeah. And okay, let's see. Uh, this ear and the ear stripe. Let's parent the ear stripe to this ear and the ear right to the lower part of the face and do the same thing with the left ear there. We have this back hair, let's uh, parent that to our upper part and the head upper part to our lower part again. The sideburns to our upper part. Uh, we have this neck, so that's the base layer, okay. The blush, let's parent that to our lower part and the eyebrows oh yeah and i have made an uh, uh a null object here let's turn it on just this, uh, uh, this empty uh, null object and i i called that face elements and i'm going to parent our eyebrows our mouth uh, the eyes and the nose um and maybe the glasses as well no not the glasses uh, these ones i'm going to parent this to our face elements so if i move this uh this whole face then everything moves along with it. And I'm going to give uh, some um, separate joystick controllers to the eyes and the mouth and the eyebrows, as you saw earlier. So I'm not going to um, uh, put a keyframe on them, on them for this joysticks and sliders right now. So just parent them all to our face elements. We have our glasses. Let's parent that to our head upper part and the hair shadow or oh, there's they are not in uh, the illustrator file here. I just uh, duplicated this hair here and uh, put it below it and just altered the shape a bit and uh, gave it a set matte effect so it's only visible within the head upper part so it doesn't uh, go out of bounds and i just give i think i gave this an opacity uh, oh no just a darker a blue color than his face uh, parent that to his head upper part as well and the hair to the head upper part as well so if i now go back down here and uh, move the neck uh, everything oh <laughs> i didn't uh, Put that to the neck. Uh, no, I'm going to parent this to the head upper part. So if I move the neck, 
now everything moves along with it okay great so now we have everything parented and now they're ready for putting keyframes to them because uh, i've made a different tutorial about this as well about a more basic rig with joysticks and sliders you need to create five different extreme states so different poses so we're going to start off with him looking at the camera with our normal pose here so i'm going to press u on my keyboard to open all the keyframes i've made earlier so i've made a keyframe on the position for the face elements the position scale and rotation for the hair i don't know if i'm going to use all of them but i just wanted to have them in there and i put the anchor point for the rotation of the hair there so maybe if he looks to the right or up it can like maybe turn a little bit i don't know let's try it out uh, the glasses there are uh, if i open them up this is one group with all of these different shapes in it so they all have their different path properties so i just uh, keyframed all of the path because i want it uh, when it's looking to the right i want it to move a bit to the right uh, as well like a little 3d effect uh, like it has depth so i'll give them all um, uh, a keyframe for the path we have our blush uh, just a position because i don't want to parent them to our face elements i want them to um, position a little bit uh, less than the face so you'll see that later uh, we have the head upper part we have the path there because i want to uh, change the path when he's looking to the right or left just to alter the depth effect a little bit uh, we have our ear stripe and our l uh, uh, our ear only position and with the other uh, ear as well of course and we have our lower part for the face also the position and the rotation because i maybe want to when he look is looking to the right i wanted to look to the right a little bit like this and then maybe turn a little bit as well so also put the anchor point down there okay and uh, we have our ear strap yeah i thought thought about that uh, the next shadow is just um this this uh, this shape here where you go here is only the path uh, animated and the position so let's see what we're going to do with that and we have the neck position and rotation so uh, i've made keyframes for all of those so now i'm ready with the first state this is our first main state so i'm going to go to the next keyframe here and select all of these uh, layers and i'm going to open up my joysticks and sliders panel and i can click this tool this button here origin and it copies all of my origin keyframes to all of my uh, to the second um to the second frame here so i'm going to click origin so there you go and now we're going to have to make the right state so it needs to look at the right that's like the order way things work in joysticks and sliders if i hover on this button it says create a new joystick representing the front right left up and down extremes and he uh, joysticks and sliders is going to fill in all the places in between we only have to make these extremes so now he's going to look to the right so let's start with our neck and i want this uh oops, zoom out here i want this to rotate a little bit so uh, i got my rotation tool and put the anchor point down there and rotate it a little bit to the right like that not too much that's like a three percent that's fine and the position as well it's just um maybe hold shift and then press arrow key once just to make it go a bit to the right and if i hold option or uh, sorry command on my keyboard and press the arrow keys left and right i can switch between uh, frames so i can see how much i moved and i'm happy with this so the neck is done the next shadow i'm going to uh, alter the uh, position a little bit let's just put it to the right a little bit not too much and then maybe uh, get my pen tool here and then click this and maybe make it a bit little bit different not too much like it's a bit different shadow we have the ear right and i'm going to place that uh, turn that to the left here so i'm going to um, drag it in a bit here because it's it's uh, when the when he's looking to the to the right side his ear is kind of uh, falling behind his face a little bit so i'm going to turn, put that to the left while he's looking right put it to the left uh, the ear stripe um there is a position on there i don't know why because we don't actually need it so because it's already parented to our ear so i'm just going to delete that and not um, go further with that and also with the ear left stripe here let's just delete that as well we don't actually need that uh, the ear right okay then we have the lower part i'm also going to give this a little bit of rotation so it's a little bit here on the second frame and a little bit of position maybe yeah just put it a couple uh to the left and i see it, it it moved my neck shadow which is now overlapping so let's put back our neck shadow here like that okay so now just look in between it again like this going to the right that's fine uh the ear left i'm going to uh 
put that a bit to the left here because when he is turning his face to the right side his ear maybe kind of pops out a little bit more uh, from behind his head and uh, then we're going to go up to the he head upper part and i'm going to put the um, uh, i did not uh, create a position keyframe because if i go to, to position it looks a bit weird so i'm uh, just going to alter the path here so i'm going to take my pen tool and just um, drag this out a little bit here and just make this curve a bit different not too much and maybe take this in a little bit so the the sideburns here get a bit more exposed so then we have a little bit rotation and 3d effect in the hair uh, as you can see that the sideburn here is visible and then now it's less visible let's even make this a bit uh, more extreme let's put it a bit more to the right like that so now we do see the sideburn a bit but it's a bit less and this sideburn is a bit more visible so which gives it a nice a little depth effect so that's the, that the blush i'm going to um, position them to the right uh, a little bit not too much and do the same thing with our uh, let's go first with our face elements we're going to uh, hold shift and then uh, press the right arrow key to move, move, place them to the left here okay so that looks good looking to the right here nice and then we're going to go to the hair let's do that as well let's bring to bring it a bit to the right here and let's maybe rotate it a bit up let's see how that looks if he looks to the right his hair moves up a little bit and maybe give the hair shadow some rotation and position as well though so let's copy them there yep and then rotate it a little bit up as well yeah like that that looks great okay and now his glasses and what i'm going to do here is um, if I select my pen tool and click on one of these uh, I don't want to alter this point and this point because they're staying on his ears I only want to uh, select all of the other points so I'm going to select this point and then I'm going to uh, click my um, arrow tool again and then kind of drag this uh, selection box over only these middle points here without this both of these ends and I'm going to put it uh, to the right a little bit just like it like there on in the middle uh, on his eyes kind of like that so now he is looking to the right quite nicely and so now i'm going to go back to uh, i'm going to go further into my third frame here this one select everything again and then click again click on the origin button so it's going to copy all of the first keyframes here on this uh, frame to my third frame here so they are exactly the same so i can start with a, fr a clean fresh plate and uh, just have them have him look to the left now so i'm going to uh, skip uh, ahead through this part quickly because it's doing the same thing over and over again just putting uh, the guy as you can see here uh, to the left and then copying the um, the origin again to the fourth frame and turning him uh, up look making him look up uh, and then uh, copying the origin to the fifth frame again and then making him look down and as you can see now i'm done with all of these i have these five keyframes on every layer so we have the normal state looking forward the, the right state looking to the right looking to the left looking up and looking down so i'm going to select all of them and then click on this button here to create a new joystick i'm going to call this uh, head movement okay and it uh, takes a little while and then it's creating these two new elements let's press u there uh, it deleted by the way all of those keyframes here so there are not nothing on there anymore uh, and we have this uh, shape here let's put it over there with this is just um, a little bounding box and we have this null object here and i can um, see here i can move this around and the face then follows this movement so we've only made the right face for, for example and the top face but it is um, um, calculating how it should look like in between so to the right and top a little bit so we can turn around so that's really cool so what I'm going to do as well here just to keep it nice and clean is create a new text layer and call this um, head and uh, let's scale it up a little bit okay and I'm gonna place it above here so I know that this is my head um, composition or my head uh, null I'm going to 
click on right click and make this a guide layer as well just like these two so they're not visible when you would render this video for example i'm going to parent that as well to our blue bounding box here so this now is our whole uh, head uh, control layer so now we have our head uh, finished i'm going to um, put this above here and make this like a uh, yellow so it, it's nice and bright and make these uh, to gray and lock them and so now I know that this yellow thing is my head uh, movement here. Let's turn off this face elements so I don't see it. So that's looking good. And now we're going to add a new joystick to only our eyes. So our eyes, let's see here, we have the IR and the IL. We're going to go to our first keyframe again, or our first frame. And we're going to go to position. And what I'm actually going to do maybe, uh, yeah, I'm going to create a new null object. So command option shift Y. And I'm going to call this eyes and we're going to parent this one to our face elements and parent both of these eyes to this eye null uh, so now the i parent it to our face element so it still moves along with everything but these eyes are going to get get their own separate uh, positioning so let's go to the p for the uh, position for the first frame here for a normal state then look to the right so make them look to the right then I can just copy and paste, I don't need to use this button here. Uh, then to the left, and then uh, let's let's see, oh, I'm going to copy this uh, first one again here, and then I'm going to go up, that's a bit too much, and then paste that, and then down there. So now we have these different eye um, positionings, and we're going to select this layer and create a new joystick here, I'm going to call that eyes. All right, so that's nice. So we have the same thing here. Uh, this thing, whoops, let's create, yeah, put it over there. And I'll call this, uh, oh, and make a new text layer. I will duplicate this one, duplicate it, and put it above and call this eyes. Oh, yeah, and don't give it the same name as your bounding box because then it kind of scales down. It's something weird. So let's call this. Um, I um, eyes placement maybe like that so that then does it uh, happen um, and rename this to eyes so I can um, rename the layer uh, just or rename the text to eyes but don't rename the layer name because that's still that's now called eyes placement but uh, it says eyes here so uh, parent that to our eyes origin and I need this one to be yellow and these ones to be uh, gray and let's lock them here as well like that okay so now if I let's say let have this head look to the right and I can also have his eyes look a bit to the right more um, so that's nice uh, now we're gonna go uh, create our mouth or our eyebrows let's go with the eyebrows first so select the eyebrows and right there and I'm going to go to my contents group one path one and then give him the path here and content group one path path and press U on both of them so we only see that one um, and this is our normal happy state and by the way these are just shape layers with or just a stroke layer so I can alter them in here so go to the f uh, second frame and uh, on the second frame of we're gonna we're gonna determine the emotion that he will be having so let's go back to illustrator here and let's see we have these different emotions so let's start with for example sad so when he's looking to the right side of the screen I want this I want this these eyebrows to be sad looking so uh, let's uh, go to the second frame here and give my pen tool and uh, create these different shapes here just uh, I'm not going to do anything with position just the path uh, how the path looks so those are kind of uh, little sad eyebrows then to um, when he's looking to the left uh, let's make him angry so again uh, go to our next I don't have to copy and paste our origin here because I just can just alter the shapes here uh, let's make him angry so let's turn this down like that like really angry and of course you can uh, determine how angry you would want him uh, eyebrows do a lot for um, the emotion of someone's face uh, so if you make him like this they're evil angry and like this are like normal angry 
which is uh, good like this, all right. Then the next, we're going to be looking up. Let's maybe um, have him worried. So these are uh, turning the other way than the sad way. So let's, um, let's see, let's put this point up here and this one down and then make them like this. And I said the more extreme you make these eyebrows, the more comic-y uh, or extreme your character will uh, look or the more emotional he will be. So that's worried. And then let's give him this kind of curious thing, like one raised eyebrow, which I like. So um, I'm going to go to this one and just make it like, uh, like kind of normal looking like this. And this one will be raised, but it's slightly different than... Oops, no, don't close that. Yeah, that's a bit extreme, but it's fine. So now we have these five different poses here. So I'm going to select both of them and go to a new joystick and then call this eyebrow um, emotions. Let's call them like that. Okay, uh, close them up and we have these new ones here again, same thing. And let's place that there. And let's make this one yellow as well. And let's put that one down there. And I'm going to go to our head uh, la text layer and duplicate it and place it there and call this eyebrows. And place it there. I'm going to put this up a bit because uh, if I move this eyebrows around, then you see the path moving. But I'm going to use this differently because I'm going to make, I'm going to actually use the, the only use the extremes that we just created. So if, like, if I duplicate this and make this uh, angry. Let's center this text, by the way. Uh, make it a bit smaller, 90. And let's change the color to a different one, a little darker, a little darker pink. Okay, angry. And then we have, uh, when he's looking to the right, he was sad, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So let's call this sad. And then when he was looking up, he was worried and when he was looking down he was kind of let's 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 call it curious and uh, they're all uh, okay and this is just for me just to know what these what these poses mean when he's looking to the right or left or up or down the eyebrows so because when we have this in between shape here it's not really defined it's a bit between worried and and, and sad so you can even alter a little bit like how sad or how worried he is um, but I'm just going to name these extremes here. So I'm going to place them down here again as well and just lock them all for now so I can't touch them. So now we have the eyebrows done. And now let's go on to the mouth. Select the mouth here. Where is it? Mm, mouth. Uh, open that up. Group one keyframe. And uh, also just, uh, of course, the normal state is the happy state. So you just remember that there are, I can also put a text in here that says happy, but I'm just going to remember that the normal middle state for this is happy. So now I'm going to go to our mouth. And this is not our happy mouth. This is our worried mouth. And worried was up. So that's, um, let's say one, two, three. That's our fourth keyframe. One, two, three, four. I'm going to place that there. And on our first keyframe, we have happy. We have this little mouth uh, here that I'm going to recreate. So I'm going to select the mouth and then the path. What did it look? Yeah, like that. Okay. Just recreate that a little bit. Just alter the shape here. This is happy. This is very happy. Okay, nice. On the second frame, we're going to go to the right, uh, which is sad. And our sad face looks like this. So it's. Let's copy the first keyframe and place it there. And I'm going to make it really sad. Oh, sad little boy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Some acting going on over here. Just method acting when creating this. Then on our third frame, we have angry. Uh, Copy the first keyframe again, and angry was this little boy. No, we're going to copy the second keyframe because it was a bit more close to angry, so we don't have to alter it too much. Mm. Mm. I'm angry. 
See how that looks if I to put this to the left. Yeah, it looks angry. That to the right it was worried and to the uh, no the up was worried and down was curious and it, I think we have just this we had this little kind of kind of the same as our uh, oh, this one but then a little bit. Yeah, let's make it like semi semi neutral. I put it down like hmm. Yeah, it's fine. It's not really curious, but all right, it'll do. So we have these five mouth states, and I'm going to select uh, the mouth and then click on this tool again. Call this mouth, mouth emotion click. All right. Uh, again, like that. Boom. Uh, put that down there and make that none. Make this yellow. And then I'm going to select uh, that's all let's select all of these text layers here and duplicate them and place them down there because they're all the same. I'm going to parent them to our mouth emotion origin so we can drag this down a bit like that. All right, and I'm going to call this then mouth, of course. Not with an F, but then okay. So then we have our mouth, and uh, again the same as the eyebrows. So I'm not going to use these corners here because then it, get, it gets a bit weird. I'm going to go to our sad face, or curious, or angry, or worried face here. All right, and then one more thing. We also, of course, have the sliders button in here, and um, you can use this for a whole lot of functions. Uh, like it's like turning things on or off, for example, or sliding from um, from left to right or whatever you want. I'm going to use it for a really simple thing here is blinking of the eyes. So what I'm going to do for that is go to the eyes layer here, eyes left and right, duplicate them by pressing Command D and give them a different color, see foam. And I'm going to give these uh, a scale of, let's say, 105 and give it the same color as this. Nice. Okay, I for now give them a different color because I can see them. And I'm going to go to this one, this one. I'm going to lock the glasses here and go to my uh, rectangle tool. And then I want to create a mask. But first select this button here to create a mask. Because if you don't, you're just going to create a new uh, shape layer within it. But I want this to be a mask here. So I'm going to go to the middle here like this. And then it goes up like that. And I'm going to create a new uh, mask again. So I'll select the shape again. Okay, again, this button, don't forget. And we're going to go do the same thing here to the middle there. And I'm going to give these both of these a path keyframe. Path, yes, thank you. It's like British and American uh, combined, my, uh, my English. Um, uh, let's see them path and on the second frame I want them to be closed and on the first frame I want them to be open. I'm just going to select these points and turn them up and these ones down. So now they close like that. Uh, right. And I, you can also of course um, make the eyes um, scale to the middle but I like it more like this where you have a bit more control with eyelids like this. Um, so create uh, both of them. I'm going to copy these masks here. Press Command C and select this shape and press Command V. And now and then put the keyframes at the same order again, first and second. And we have the same effect there. So I'm going to select both of them and then create a new slider tool here. And let's call this uh, eyelids um, control. Ooh. Okay creates a null like this and it doesn't create this nice little thingy here because but it creates this null with this effect on it and we have the slider control here and if I slide this to the right we can see that it's closing and uh, like that um, by the way why I made it a little bit bigger than 100% just because I scaled them up a little bit the eyelids because if you don't you get these little black lines around it so if you just make it a little bit bigger like that then it's all nice and covered so that's why I did that. Uh, let's give this a different color, purple or something. 
and um, but I, I can use this um, null here, select it and then could put the slider control uh, over there. But if you want this UI kind of thing, just like these things, select this layer, select this slider control, and then click on this button here, create, and it creates your UI thingy there. So I'm going to uh, unlock this and place this down here and maybe put this m right here in between. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna click away this away because I'm not done with that. I'm gonna call this eyelids and I'm gonna put it down a little bit and make it all nice and neat. I like it when my uh, project panel is neat. And these slider controls, um, put them at none as well and down there. So now uh, I can move this uh, thing to the right and it will control my eyes there. And you can, of course, if you want to create uh, two of these for our top eyelids and our bottom eyelids, if you would like, uh, because then you can like have his uh, eyelids close a little bit, uh, only the top ones, like he's maybe he's looking at something, I don't know. You can make the two different ones of them if you would like. Um, so I'm going to, uh, let's see, go back to our eyelids here. Where are they? These ones, and I'm going to give them the right color. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, controller origin, uh, get away, please. Uh, so now we have all of these. Uh, are we done? Yeah, I think we're done. So we're going to uh, animate them, uh, give them all a position, and the uh, eyelids will do it later. And zoom out a bit. And like now he's happy. And let's uh, let's make him uh, sad. So I'm going to make uh, his mouth go to the right so he's turning sad as you can see we're gonna go give his eyebrows oops whoops to the right to make him sad as well like that he's already starting to look sad and let's make his uh, his head move down and if you make his eyes go down as well then he's really sad look at that sad little boy uh, give this some easing, boom. It's a bit heavy, maybe, and I'm doing this in 4K, so. <laughs> so yeah, he is sad there, let's make it a bit less fast. So there he's moving down with everything, and he's looking very sad indeed. Um, nice, let's copy all of these. And let's go to here, and let's make him angry. Um, or now let's make him worried first. Um, so sad will move up to worried. And I'm gonna give this a curve here because when he's going up, he travels uh, a little bit uh, along this um, happy line again. And I, I don't want him changing t from sad kind of to happy to worried. I want him to go to from sad really in the worried sad corner here. So I'm going to make this a curve so we don't touch this middle point. Uh, stay as far as away, uh, away from that as possible. And do the same with this thing here. Give this uh, as well. And now he's worried. And let's, give the, uh, let's make him look to the, uh, to the left or something. Oh, oh. Uh, maybe, maybe left and up a bit. And the eyes as well. So now he's worried from sad to worried like that. I give this some easing as well. And let's copy these and let's make him angry. So make this head go to the right, make his eyes go to the right like he's looking at someone and he is very angry. Give this a curve, oops. No. Ooh, he's so angry. Ooh, and what you can see here is that when I make this curve, I think we have this, this stupid. Do uh, you see that? Like this. Blech. I hate that. So, uh, select your pen tool, and I think you can. Uh, I always struggle with this. Yeah, if I uh, hold Option and click on this button here, then it uh, kind of solves that. But if I take this, we still have this, mo this little ring shape here. Like it's giving a little bounce. So I'll just uh, drag that. 
uh, in there and you can just make hit, make the curve over there like that so now or otherwise we get this little weird little bounce in between so now he's good so let's just fix that with this one as well because as you can see if I play this then he will do this weird thing I think yeah like that you can see this this little extra bounce back it's because we made these curves and you can just um, make the curves like this uh, all right turn that in yeah so like that uh, let's see and the last one so I'm easing as well if I didn't do that already uh, so he's going to sad and then to worried and then angry and let's have him go back to our first origin again which is the first keyframes here he's back to happy apply boom okay nice and the eyelids very easy Let's give this some uh, best position, and then we have our um, slider control here. Eyelids control. Oh, I that's dumb. I made I took the wrong one here. This one. I need to have this one. Purple. Yes. Thank you very much. None. Turn this off. Put it down there. And this one position, and then the X position because it's only going to the right. A couple frames. Let's like let's see three uh, three frames. Put this at one hundred. So it's to 100. You can also drag this around, of course, and then copy this one. Give this some easy ease, some easy, easy ease. Blink. Yeah, and let's copy them a few times over there, or all here and here, and then N here, U, and boom. I think we're done. Yeah, let's render. Let's make this guy render out a little bit so we can see this full animation. And uh, that's a really easy way you can create these nice, um, yeah, here you see it's done, looking sad, worried, angry. Oh, and you see something weird going on over there. What was that? Oh, you see his uh, eyebrows. We had this little uh, uh, thing here again. Um, let's turn that down. I think this is the problem like that. So now it's gone. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Um, you can see that it's only took four joysticks and one slider to create uh, like all the emotions we want for this uh, really easily actually uh, i love this plugin joysticks and sliders i'm not sponsored or anything by them but i just use it for years and it's just it's awesome it's amazing so so if you like how this works i encourage you to buy the plugin and just try it out for yourself it's it's really uh, your money's worth um so that's it for me today i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up it would really help me or even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already and make this camp keyframe family grow a bit more uh, thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next one thanks bye bye